We are gathered here today as an expression of love, more than just the love of Marissa and Ryan, but also of each and both of them from us. Successful marriages have many elements that make them successful. One of those truly is a key element, and that is love. Love is many things. It is friendship caught fire. It is sharing. It is forgiving. It is loyalty. In good times or bad, it is strength. It is hope. It's the perfect response to despair. But mostly, love is a verb, a very active verb. To love means to do something, and that something is to work hard to make your partner know that you love them. So as we watch this couple begin their life together, let us encourage them to actively love each other and let us take our hope from their love. There's a place, a garden for the young To laugh and dance and safety among The shimmering light and the shade of the tree I was looking for a summer job and I didn't quite know what I was going to do with my life at the sweet age of 16. And so I went to this daycare that I went to when I was a kid and they said they needed a lifeguard and I was like, perfect, like, I'm your girl. Life picks up speed before you know We hold on for dear life, oh no We're too proud to turn back now pretty much met in the lifeguard class and she was actually late. I'm like late as always. I was like so embarrassed so I just like ran back to the back and I was like oh, okay like I'll sit behind muscles here and it'll be great. <laughs> So I sat behind him and I was like, well, okay, like he's kind of cute. Like this could be fun. <laughs> and everyone was just saying like where they went to school and their age and stuff. And I was like, oh, I'm 16. Like I go to McGinnis. And he turned around and he was like, you're 16. And I was like, dang it. <laughs> no. He's not going to date me now. <laughs> and he was like, well, I'm 21. And I was like, oh, man. No. I was just, <laughs> yeah. Felt it go out the window right there. But so we start like going through all these like, how to like wrap someone's arm and how to like save a brick from the bottom of a pool. Sometimes you find what you waiting for. Sound along just waiting for you to turn around and reconcile. The last day of the class, final test, she had taken it first. And then I was taking it after her. We got split up into two groups and we were in different groups. Dang it, that means we'll finish at different times. Finished the test and was walking out the door and she was just sitting in her car <laughs> waiting on me talking to her friend and she said it was only like 30 minutes but it was like 45 <laughs> to an hour but it was a long time. And I see him like walking towards my car because he had to walk, walk past it to get to his and he has like the biggest smile on his face and I was like oh yeah so <laughs> he like came over and I was like I'm not gonna ask him for his number. I started smiling and laughing and like, I know it, I knew it. <laughs> she asked me, she asked me if I was on Facebook. And there it's just like, you know, seven years later, here we are. <laughs> Who would have thought that seven years ago, two strangers sitting in a lifeguard class would be getting married? What? <laughs> Words. It's weird to think there was a time when we didn't know each other, to think that all those years before just seemed like a build up to that one class from the moment you asked me what page we were on to the very moment in time right now. You're like one sentence out. <laughs> I can't believe we're getting married. You have been such a blessing to my life and our little animal family. You're the man I always dreamed I'd get to call mine, and it's totally a plus that you're such a babe. I lost nameless things, my innocence flew away from 
My first date to our first kiss to saying I love you for the first time in the Lowe's parking lot to getting snow cones and sitting in the back of my truck on those summer nights. And I could go on and on for probably about 10 more pages of all the memories, dates, vacations, and romantic times we've spent together. Yep, you ready? If I could just quit crying for five minutes. <laughs> you truly are my best friend. You know everything from my favorite snow cone to my favorite drink at Ted's. I'm so excited to be your wife and to tell everyone and anyone that you're my husband. Holy cow, that'll never get old. I'm so, so, so lucky to call you mine and I feel like the most special girl in the world when you look at me. The person I love the most in this world and the person I've cried with, the person I've felt pain with and happiness with. I'm the person that's always been there for me, even when it wasn't easy. It's almost surreal that this is finally happening. So I put my hand upon the blind, wipe the sweat up from my bride, plant the good seed along the way as I look forward to the day. When at last I'll see my father run to me, singing over my child. So take you, Ryan. To be my husband. To be my husband. I, Ryan, take you, Marissa. To be my wife. To be my wife. Today, tomorrow, and for the rest of my life. Today, tomorrow, and for the rest of my life. I vow to create a household filled with laughter. I vow to create a household filled with laughter. Patience, understanding, and love. Patience, understanding, and love. I vow to dance with you in times of joy. I vow to dance with you in times of joy. I vow to not just grow old together. I vow to not just grow old together, but to grow together, but to grow together. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Ryan and Marissa England. thought that such a love story would come from a summer lifeguard class. I remember the first time Ryan met your parents that you were so nervous because you had just said he was in college. They didn't know what year in college. I wanna sing, I wanna dance, wanna find the one remains, wanna wake up to the sun, wanna play to kingdom come. I think we all know if we know them at all that if it weren't for Marissa actually coming up and making that first move and saying hi to him, we wouldn't be here today. The queen or be the king, wear the crown or wear the ring. Wanna storm the castle walls, wanna be the one who calls your name. I don't know, I don't know where to start. With my head or my soul or my heart. Winter's gone, spring's here, summer's near. I won't run, I won't. I knew when you and Ryan started dating that you would be perfect for each other. Here we are today, and sure enough, he is the one. Over the years, your love has inspired me and taught me so much. I wanna see the birds of prey, wanna feel the warmth of day, wanna kiss my lover's cheek, wanna stand on my two feet. You 
are both so near to my heart. I can't wait to see where your love takes you over the years. I wanna hope, I wanna breathe, I wanna love, I wanna bleed, I wanna paint the starting line, I wanna come back from me high. I'm glad you all could make it. We're very happy you came and shared this with us. This is one of the best days of our lives. I don't know, I don't know where to start. With my head, my soul, my heart. Winter's gone, spring is here, summer is near. And I won't hide. I don't know, I don't know where to start. With my head, my soul, my heart. Winter's gone, spring is here, summer is near. And I won't hide. And I won't hide. I found this cheesy quote on Pinterest and I wanted to share it. May your love be modern enough to survive the times, but old-fashioned enough to last forever. To Marissa and Ryan.